He's got speed. On Padua, Bedard dangles, shoots, and scores! Bedard, a little bit of speed. Bobby Bedard walking in, back in, drive, scores! Why is it again? One of the best NHL prospects in history, a teenage phenom, a fan favorite who's already attracted crowds of over 17,000 before ever stepping onto NHL ice. He's just different. This is the story behind Connor Bedard. If you were to judge from the first time he stepped on the ice, you would have never guessed Connor Bedard would become his generation's most celebrated NHL prospect. As a three-year-old and a sister Madison's shadow, Bedard was lukewarm about skating in the beginning. But put a stick in his hand and a puck in front of him, and it was a whole different game. One he couldn't get enough of. As it turns out, skating wasn't what thrilled him. It was hockey itself. Bedard immediately became one of those hockey-crazed kids who tore up the floor of his family's kitchen stick-handling, broke windows with errant pucks, and bristled at the thought of going on vacation to Disneyland if it meant missing hockey. When he broke his wrist, he practiced netting pucks in the backyard with one hand. And when his family finally managed to tear him away from the ice to take a trip from their North Vancouver home to Hawaii, Bedard made them lug his inline skates and a hockey stick so he could practice in the tropics. Bedard, even as a youngster, was confident in the way only legends are. At the age of five, he was tasked with choosing a number in minor hockey. In those days, numbers 87 and 97 were hot commodities amongst the younger set. Belonging to the great Sidney Crosby and Matthew Barzil, the latter being a rising star in Vancouver after going first overall to the Seattle Thunderbirds in the WHL's 2012 draft. But here, Bedard was already standing apart from his peers. He chose number 98. When his minor hockey team manager asked him who wore number 98, he replied, I do. And Bedard wasn't just self-assured, he had the work ethic of a future superstar. His minor hockey career started in earnest at North Vancouver's North Shore Winter Club in 2011. Before long, Bedard was consistently playing with older age groups and the prodigy found himself playing peewee at age 10 with kids one or two years older. That was about the time agents came calling much to the bemusement of his parents who wondered, is he really that good? He was. After Pee Wee Bedard graduated into Bantam A1 Hockey in North Vancouver Minor Hockey and at the West Vancouver Hockey Academy, where he led the Canadian Sports School Hockey League with 43 goals and 84 points in 36 games during the 2019-20 season. And then something Bedard had been thinking about since he was seven years old came to pass. Back when Bedard was seven, Connor McDavid was on his ascent to hockey glory and had just been granted exceptional player status, a designation given to a rare few athletes whom the Canadian Hockey League determines will be better suited for one of their leagues than remaining with athletes their own age. Only six former CHLers have ever met that criteria, and when Bedard was just seven years old, McDavid became one of them. At the time, Bedard remarked to his dad that exceptional player status would be cool to achieve one day. Then it was nothing more than a dream. But as he wrapped up his second season in West Vancouver Hockey Academy's elite Bantam program, his application was approved. All right. Connor, how has your life changed in the last week since you've been granted exceptional player status? Uh, I mean, the first few days were pretty crazy, but it's died down a bit, I think, and yeah, I'm just really looking forward to the draft and everything. At just 15 years old, Bedard became the first player in Western Hockey League history to be granted exceptional player status and was promptly drafted first overall in the WHL Bantam Draft in 2020. So it was that the hockey sensation debuted with the Regina Pats in the 2020-21 WHL season, where he recorded 28 points in the shortened 15-game season, becoming the WHL's top rookie. And Bedard showed his rookie season was more than beginner's luck. In his sophomore year, Bedard kicked off the campaign with 24 points in 24 games, before loaning himself out to Team Canada for the World Juniors, where he won gold and became just the second 16-year-old Canadian to score three or more goals in a game. The other was Wayne Gretzky in 1977. Tavish goes right wide and finds Bedard. Bedard in, shoots, goal! A lightning 
He really turned on the Turbo Jets for the second half of the WHL season, adding 76 points in just 38 games to finish the season with 100 points. Bedard to bring him up for Regina. One on two, step by the defenseman to the net. The Deacon, he scores! Oh my! Does it get any better than that? Connor Bedard puts on a show. And the crowd definitely started to take notice. By the 2022-23 season, Bedard had earned the captain's C and the Pats were playing for sellout crowds league-wide, sometimes in NHL rinks of more than 17,000 people. Fans didn't just want a glimpse of Bedard, they wanted to own the moment. Jerseys and shirts featuring number 98 sold out both in-store and online. They also wanted a chance to meet him in person. At his final autograph session as a Pat, Regina fans stood in line for over five hours to meet Bedard in the flesh. And sponsors are already vying to get in on the ground floor. In the summer of 2022, Bedard signed a deal with BioSteel for an undisclosed amount. Bedard certainly knows how to give the people what they came for. In his third year with Regina, Bedard didn't merely lead the WHL in every single scoring category, but led the entire CHL in goals, points, and points per game. To put it into perspective, there were 10 games in which Bedard recorded five points and only five games where he didn't notch a point at all. He contributed on 60% of the Pats' goals in the regular season, bumping that number up to 77% come playoff time. His 71 regular season goals were the most scored in the WHL in 24 years, and his 143 points were the most recorded in 27 years. All that despite missing 11 games to play with Canada's junior team, where he memorably scored an exquisite overtime goal in a three-on-three matchup against Slovakia to advance to the semifinals against the United States. Bernard back with it. Slides in again. Bernard clocks right in. Canada ultimately took home the gold in that tournament and Bedard was named MVP after leading the tournament with 23 points. Back in Regina after the tournament, Bedard continued his assault on the WHL record books. Throughout his WHL career, he averaged exactly one goal per game, coming in fourth overall in the WHL. And when you add in assists into his totals, Bedard averaged 2.022 points per game, putting him 10th overall. So he truly is a generational talent. Every player except Bedard in the top 50 was active in the 1980s or 90s. And when you tally all the goals Bedard scored in both international and major junior play in his NHL draft year, the Wonder Kid totaled 100 goals in 83 games. He already has a signature shot, an upright stance paired with a shooting motion that pulls the puck into his feet before unleashing a heavy release. It's apparently hard to stop. Steps up, feeds right, right, rink wide for Bedard. Connor Bedard walks in, holds, and shoots, scores! Connor Bedard, a rocket! With the Chicago Blackhawks winning the 2023 NHL Draft Lottery and the right to first draft pick, it's all but certain the historic franchise will become Bedard's NHL home. And fans are more than ready to watch him with their own eyes. Just 12 hours after the Blackhawks secured the first draft pick, the team had sold 5.2 million in season ticket packages. It's safe to say that the Dart effect is already underway, and you'll be hearing his name for years to come. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button.